how disappointing was his performance, um, considering all the work that you put in since you got here, and, and the expectations that the passing game would be so much crisper? Um, again, disappointed, but work to do, and uh, continue to work. Uh, again, uh, from uh, protection, spacing, timing, just getting everything in rhythm. Tonight we didn't. Credit Oklahoma. Nice plan. Um, we had some plays we missed, uh, but we also had some things we need to do better, from whether it be calling, structuring, even planning, uh, just putting us in better positions going through the week. So a lot of work to do, and we'll work hard and get moving strongly in a great direction. Did it feel like even the completions felt kind of labored? The offense just felt labored tonight? Yeah, I know. Good word. I just out of rhythm. I just you know, even the, even the times we tried to go fast, there wasn't a lot to it. So we're just uh, out of sync, out of sorts. we got to work at that. Um, Again, to find the sequencing of plays to get us in flow, because tonight we were we were very disjointed. Kevin, it seemed like you guys did, did have some stuff going in the run game. I think uh, Mike, I know Mike only had three carries and he got a little dinged up, but his yards per carry was pretty high, and, and JK had some pop too. Um, what, what did you think, I guess, of the rhythm of the run game, and maybe why didn't you guys roll with that in the second half as opposed to trying to throw the ball? Well, I, again, I thought we, we made some adjustments at halftime. Um, Oklahoma. Made a couple adjustments there and got us off schedule after we scored. I think the first time I think it, uh, put us in, I think two poor uh, third down or second down calls in the scoring zone, both in the first half and second half. Uh, we expect their defense to adjust to a, a formation they didn't, and we tried to, to run a play into, into a loaded look. It was a bad call on my part, uh, so we left some points on the board. But we thought we had some running game going. Um, we thought we had we had some mix of pass, uh, but again we were just. Very much out of rhythm. That's a correct Oklahoma too. They they again they lined up in, in a nice little look for us. They kind of got us off guard a little bit. With a lot of boundary pressure, a lot of odd fronts and things we got to clean up. We worked hard to get it, but we we're out of whack today. You talked a little bit last week too about running into the loaded looks against Indiana, probably in, in the first half of that game. Who ultimately is that ball on? Who's who's who is it on to make, make the adjustments when you see that? Is it you? Oh yeah. Okay. And, and and sometimes again with the players that I get there can be progressions, routes, you know, the the run pass deals, the options where the quarterback's running, pulling it, whatever. So uh, but um, I think as we started the second half we found some things to, to equate the boxes and get the numbers right and the running game took off a couple good drives. Then a couple drives got back out of rhythm, passing game got a little whack and the game got away from us there. Kevin, how would you assess the play of JT tonight? I think I gotta put him in, in our coaches, we gotta put him in better situations. He's been great. His whole career has been, uh, to me, outstanding preseason. I don't think we did a good job uh, guesstimating. I kind of said this the other day. I thought Oklahoma kind of had an opening. This was kind of their opening game and had a lot of prep time. And and um, I think time will test. We didn't gauge or, or calculate as well as we should. Tried to make some adjustments. We did okay. We left some ball in the field. We got a lot of work to do. Good. Kevin, how easy or hard is it to make adjustments after a game like this in the middle of the season? I don't think the adjustments are, are, are radical. It's the, uh, again, uh, the ability to, in your protection assignments, who's got who, uh, how to equate numbers and protection that uh, uh, from a formation standpoint, so there's just some things you do in spacing out, protection, putting it all together. Uh, it will not be radical changes, but we do have to play in rhythm. We do have to play in sync. We do have to play collectively together uh, because JT Parrott is a really good quarterback when his surrounding parts are well. And that includes the coaches and the game planning and the and the structure of practice to give those guys a, a great chance. So again, we own it. I own it. Uh, very, very, very poor job. A lot of work to do, but not radical work. We got a bunch of great players. We've had a great preseason, and we're out of whack tonight. We're going to get it back on track and get moving. Do you expect to address this week in practice with, with JT specifically? I know he's just going to work hard. I mean, he's probably again as hard to work in practice as we got. I'm sure we'll have a great week of practice, and I think our whole football team will. will a lot of work to do, a lot of ball to play, a long way to go, and we're going to get there. Kevin, how comfortable do you feel at the moment in terms of knowing the strengths of, of your personnel and, and maybe the kind of game plan you need to call to put these guys in the best position for them to be successful? Um, I think we got a good handle on our personnel. And I think we've got, again, a lot of talented players and, and a lot of things. So we've got to find ways, again, to protect our quarterback, to get him in rhythm. We've got to find, find things that balance in the running game. And we've got to play football offensively in rhythm, and tonight we weren't. So whether you're moving the pocket, taking shots, getting the perimeter, we've got to play a little faster. Uh, tonight we did not have a lot of flow of the offense. We're very stagnant. We've got to work hard to get our rhythm back. Coach, do you appreciate uh, Coach stand by JT say we're not making a change? That, uh, Again, he's uh, those young other quarterbacks are talented, very, very good. But he's our guy, and it's and he will be our guy, and he's going to have a phenomenal year. And it's going to be our job as coaches to to continue to put him in places and get the surrounding 
people to play and to do their jobs appropriately. So, because again, when 11 guys click, we'll be fine. He will do his job. We'll get everybody else around him doing their job, starting with me. Do you have to rethink things that are not working that you thought might? Is this, as you said, it's not drastic? I don't think it's drastic. Yeah. I did, but again, we, uh, again, last week, again, kind of an open game. I thought today was kind of an open game. Um, we got schemed up well. And uh, we'll work hard to fix those corrections and, and be, be better moving forward. I know you were obviously integrally involved in, in calling plays at Indiana, but it's been a while since you were the office. Has that been an adjustment more so than maybe you thought? No, I mean, quite honestly, because I was kind of doing that with all the other things. There's a little bit less on, uh, on, on the plate. Again, uh, Ryan Day's done a great job, as is our offensive staff. Again, we just got sometimes, again, the strength of your players, what do you, what do, you do to attack the defense to be aggressive? We're going to get after it. Get these guys moving forward. Are you calling the plays you want to call, Coach? Oh, yeah. Everything's again, everybody's on the same page. You can no doubt, but again, when you block them and you, and you execute them, it it's good. Sense. And when you don't, they're not. And well, again, but again, our line has been outstanding. Our quarterback's been outstanding. We got to put it together, and tonight we didn't. And that's my fault, and I own that. Coach, in the last five losses here, four times the quarterbacks have ended up with as many or more carries in the running backs. Is there, in the last five losses here, obviously predating your time as well, the quarterbacks have ended with five or with more rushes than the running backs four or five times. Is there a commonality there? Is it a coincidence? What's the, do you have any idea? Well, again, the quarterback run game is a part of our deal. I do think, though, the tailback needs to be the featured guy. The way Oklahoma played tonight, we thought it was best to spread them out to try to run the ball. That being said, JT was the viable read guy, and they made him keep keep the ball. So uh, I do think our tailbacks need to be our runners. They're great runners. JT's a nice compliment. Uh, we've got to work hard to have a running game that he compliments the running game. It's not the featured guy.